Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR tutorial, we're going to show you how to load an image into your scene. There's a built-in image tag within A-Frame. It's not like texturing an object because it literally, it's, you could almost think of it like a plane, but a plane is a separate object as well, which we'll cover later in this series. We've got an image right here. It's just a Batman v Superman poster. You can use whatever you want. And as usual, you could... Either use the asset manager, which is what we're going to do, or you could just apply the source directly. The recommended way, as usual, with A frame is to use the asset manager and it will allow you to reuse it again and again. So let's load up our asset first. So A assets, and in here, just do img id equals my dash image source equals img four slash batman v superman to my batman v superman actually suicide squad has i'll, I'll, I'll better say come and gone but it's only just come out one two, three days ago i want to say i i actually liked it i i, I like it i, I thought he had his problems but i thought overall it's a good movie it was a good movie. So yeah, to load an image or to display an image, you do a dash img src, and in here, like I said, you could either do the source directly, like here, or provide a URL, or you could use the asset manager and just provide the ID. And this is the recommended way. So to hash my dash img the width, I'm gonna set to sixteen. Height, I'm gonna set to nine and yep yeah, that is it so if i were to actually one second this is wrong it's meant to be a dash image i'm looking at it i'm thinking that don't look right so yeah we're ready to load this so if i refresh there you go we have our batman v superman image it looks very big and oh my god if you look view it through a vr headset it just looks immersive simply because of how big it is and this image is high resolution so it just looks fantastic and when you're watching a video like this as well that's just even better so yeah that is it for this video in separate videos we'll be covering stuff like curved images videos that all that good stuff but for now, if you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that, plus a source code from every video in this series. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. If you didn't like the video, for whatever reason, leave us a comment as well. I'm sure you will. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.